day in Washington as the House of Representatives is expected to vote today on two articles of impeachment against President Donald Trump, those being abuse of power and obstruction of Congress. The president is accused of pressuring the Ukrainian president for personal political favors and obstructing the investigation by Congress. President Donald Trump says he did nothing wrong. Fox 24's Jesse Tenor was in D.C. today during that debate. She joins us live now from the Capitol. Jesse, tell us what stuck out to you today. So really, we haven't heard anything different. We're just hearing from more members of the House. We're getting to hear essentially from all of them. And Democrats have been sticking to their talking points, saying that the president did abuse his power, did obstruct Congress, and so it left them with no choice but to impeach him. And then you've been hearing from Republicans continuing to criticize the process and say that the president did nothing that rises to the levels of impeachment. If the vote that should be starting here in about an hour goes the way that we think it should. The president would become only the third in U.S. history to be impeached, but also the very first to be simultaneously campaigning for his reelection. So there's kind of an interesting split screen happening tonight with the House voting on articles of impeachment against President Trump, who will be at a campaign rally in a key battleground state of Michigan. So I'm sure what's happening in the House will be brought up during that rally. Also, a first for the impeachment process for our country tonight is the fact that, as far as we know, no members of the minority party will be voting yes for these articles of impeachment. And so this process has continued to be more divided than ones in the past. All right, Jesse, if the president is impeached within the next hour, as you mentioned, that vote expected to happen here shortly. Uh, walk us through what exactly happens next. So then the process moves to the Senate for a trial. And that process, the details of that is still being hashed out right now. The Senate leadership can't come to an agreement right now on who could potentially testify and how long that process could take. We do know that it's a six day a week process where all senators have to be in his or her chair in the chamber for this trial, acting as the jurors and hearing the evidence that um, is brought forth. But something that we do know that's already been made pretty clear is that even though this is supposed to be kind of an, an impartial jury and they're supposed to be making up their minds, you know, during this process, a lot of them already have their minds made up. Fox 24's Jesse Tenor reporting live from Washington for us. Thanks so much for that, Jesse.